everyone. So I'd like to ask how many of you have gotten a facial or a massage before, or how many of you have a loved one that maybe you could give one to? In this video, I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how to give someone else a facial. Now, I think this is really cool because it's a really unique idea if you wanna get someone a present either for your anniversary or even if you just wanna help someone de-stress. So giving a facial is very nice. So I'm gonna do this by showing you guys how to prepare before we give the facial. I'll show you how to properly cleanse the skin and then I'm gonna show you how to moisturize and massage the skin. So I'm someone that really likes to watch videos on this kind of stuff because I love to uh, give my friends and my family massages. So I've done this before, so I know a lot about it. Now, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is to get to know your client's skin type um, because you don't wanna get anything that's gonna irritate their skin or something that throws the balance off. So obviously, if they have oily skin, you don't wanna get any products that um, come with oil in them. You wanna get oil-free or just different stuff like that. Some of the different products that we're gonna be using include some cleanser. Um, I have some scrubs here to use, face masks, and all that kind of stuff. You also wanna make sure that you have all the items that you need, so make sure you set aside some cotton balls, cotton pads, washcloths, anything that you might need to use during the facial. So the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is to make sure that you put your hair up. Um, if you have long hair like me, you don't want your hair to be gliding across their face because it could tickle them or whatever. So you wanna make sure that you have it up and it's just more sanitary that way anyway. Now once you have your hair up in a ponytail, um, you could also use a headband, which I like to use just to keep your baby hairs out of the way and make sure they don't fall down. And I mean also, I feel like if you look cute, then you feel cute and you're gonna do great stuff. You're gonna have a positive attitude. So nobody ever said you can't look cute while you're doing something. So now that everything's prepared and ready, it's time to start the facial by cleaning the face. Also, before you start, you can also add some music and it's really relaxing and soothing to the patient. All right, so I'm joined here with my sister now, Jessica. And the first thing that we're gonna be doing is uh, cleansing the face. So I have my wet washcloth here, just with water. I'm gonna start by so now I'm going to take this Neutrogena cleanser. It's all natural, so it's good for any skin type. And I'm just going to take a couple pumps into my hand. I'm going to lather it up and then just spread it across her face. You want to make sure that with anything that you're doing, you want to use upward strokes because if you're going downwards, it's going to pull on the skin. Once you're all done, you're just going to go back with your washcloth and take all the excess off. So now that the skin's all clean, we're gonna go in with this exfoliator. I like to use nice light ones so that way they're not too harsh on the skin and they don't irritate. I'm just gonna put a small amount into my hand and then rub it around her face. Now what this does is it takes all the dead skin out. So when we go into the other steps, the skin will be nice and smooth. So now that we're done exfoliating, we're gonna wanna steam the face. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your towel, you're going to wrap it into a triangle, and I'm going to take the two ends and I'm going to wrap it around her face, making sure to leave a space for her nose so that way they, she can still breathe. So according to Healthline, the reason that we steam the face is so that way we open up the pores and that's going to allow the products that we use in the future to absorb better into the skin. So now that her pores are all opened up, we're gonna go ahead and use the facial mask. So the one that I'm using, it's by Got Hemp, which I really like all the healing properties that hemp provides. So what we're gonna do is open this up, and I have this brush here. It has a rubber applicator on it. It just makes it uh, glide onto the skin way more easily. So a little bit at a time, I'm just gonna pick some up with my applicator and just make sure I apply it evenly all throughout the face. And now I decided that I was gonna get a little bougie with this facial and I even cut up some cucumbers. To be honest, I don't even know what they really do. I just think they look cool. So I think it like refreshes the skin or something, but. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. So we're just gonna go ahead and take these off. And now we're gonna go ahead and steam her face one more time. Okay, so now that we have everything wiped off, we're gonna go ahead and use the toner. So I'm using Clinique right now. And what the toner does is it's really good at tightening the skin and firming it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a cotton pad. And we're just gonna dip into it and we're just gonna apply it all over the face. 
So also with the toner, it removes like all the extra dead skin that maybe exfoliator didn't get. So now that the face is nice and clean, we can go ahead and move on to moisturizing and massaging the skin. I'm gonna start massaging by applying some oil. So this is from e.l.f. What I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna apply a couple drops in my hand because that's all that you need. Now what you can also do is take a couple drops of any essential oil that you like. I used lavender. And you're just gonna start by applying it evenly all throughout the face. Now Kathy Wong from Very Well Mind says that lavender has a lot of benefits to it. Some of them include helping with anxiety, insomnia, and promoting relaxation. So once you have the oil applied evenly, you can start massaging the skin. An online guide called The Chalkboard Magazine talks about a lot of different health benefits and ways that you can improve your body. And one of the things that they like to talk about is pressure points. So they say that right here on the inner eye socket is really good for pain and swelling in the eye area. Towards the mid eyebrow, it helps with sinus and headache relief. Your temples are a really good pressure point if you have tension headaches or if you suffer from headaches. And then right here under the eyes really helps relieve the eye pressure. So as I'm massaging the face, I'm gonna make sure that I keep going to some of these different pressure points. So some of the techniques I like to use is pinching towards the chin, going up towards the cheekbones, and then back up against the hairline. They call this like the number three technique because you're drawing a three on your face. Using my thumbs, I'm gonna make circular motions around her face. Now that we're done massaging the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and start applying some moisturizer. So what I'm first gonna start off with is this Clinique Eye Gel. So I'm just gonna pump a little bit right onto my pinky finger because it's such a delicate area, so you wanna be as gentle as possible. So just delicately gliding under her eye and even over the eyelid just a little bit. Finally, I'm gonna be moisturizing her skin by using this Elemis Superfood. I'm just gonna put a couple of pumps into my hand rub it around on my fingers, and start applying it to the skin. Once the moisturizer has completely absorbed into the skin, that means that your facial is complete. And that's it, we're all done. So now that we're finished with the facial, I'm just gonna share my summary with you real quick. So I decided that I wanted to show all of you how to give someone a facial because I think it's just such a great thing to help someone and give them something to just relax. Um, so the main things that we wanted to remember to give a facial is to prepare beforehand, know what your client needs, what they want, what their skin type is, and to get all your products beforehand. We also need to know how to cleanse the skin properly, so that way when we move on to moisturizing and massaging the skin, then all the products can really absorb into the skin and use all the amazing benefits that they each have. So now, if any of you are ever stuck and don't know what to get someone for either their birthday, anniversary, whatever it may be, now you guys can use this and give them something that they're all gonna really love and I can promise you that. So thank you guys so much for everything. <laughs> oh my God, you look so weird. Sam, take them off. They're like super cold on my eyeballs. <laughs> Wait, I gotta, I gotta say it to Mitz. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're so fucking <laughs> cold on my eyeballs. Take them <laughs> off. Okay. Feels so good. Good. I'm glad. And you're good at it too. Thanks. <laughs> I'm putting that in the video. <laughs> Oh my god, it hurts. Say hi camera, Stella. Stella Bella.